Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, press the bell button. We're gonna talk about exchange coins. This is still the Undermanning series. We've got two more to do. This is the second to last. Exchange coins, why? Why not? See you in a sec. So guys, welcome. Hit the like button, smash them up really hard, smash it, it takes a second, right? Also, leave a little comment, anything you want, I don't care. Apart from your address, I don't really want you to put your address on there. However, $100 worth of Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you want, whether it's Ethereum, XRP, something that I can actually get hold of, will be going to you if we get over a thousand likes on this video. So starting from today's date, every video, if we get over a thousand likes, I will throw money at people who comment. Simple. So, reveal on the screen is a coin. You've probably never heard of it, you've probably never seen it before because it is relatively new. But I'm going off past data and also the fact that the, the market is rather shit in terms of altcoins, okay? BTC, Ethereum, XRP, EOS, Tron, ADA, well, I don't know. All of these coins are predominantly traded on the contract game, the leverage margin trading, the likes of BitMEX, Bybit, etc. What does it mean for old coins though? So let's talk about it. OKB, an exchange coin. You probably noticed what exchange it's on. If you know it, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna carry on, I'm gonna tell you anyways. So, I'm going to go through that in a second, but one of the biggest exchanges around has a coin, okay? This coin, in my opinion, is undervalued when you consider what is already out there, where we've also been with other exchange coins. I want to go through, throughout this video, different coins that have been good in the past due to hype, where the alt season, the alt market is booming. What do people do? Well, funny enough, they fucking buy the coins. What does that mean for these coins, though, i.e. exchange tokens that are exchanged for fees in savings, essentially, so you save on fees? Simple, really. Now, for me, that is kind of a good thing. Not many people like exchange tokens because they're a bit odd, but in my personal opinion, they always go up when the market is flourishing. At the minute, we're in a bit of a lull, we're a bit shit right now for old coins, would mean that this is an incredibly good opportunity. So let's have a little look at what the numbers are. It has good volume, obviously it's an exchange coin. It's relatively new, it's only been around since roughly May. It's ranked number 42 on CoinMarketCap, not that that matters, but circulating supply is 40 million, 300 million total. It's interesting this because it also has a burn policy. I'm going to go through all this in a second. So please hang on. Don't just fuck off because oh, it's not my car. I don't like it. Mm. People do that. People forget it is a subjective opinion. This, in my opinion, not financial advice. If there's an altcoin market boom, alt season, this will be a lot higher than what the price is already on the screen. That's just facts because people will be flooding to exchanges to buy tokens. FOMO or they just heard of it because they're watching a new YouTube video and the market's going up and yeah, FOMO, <laughs> you know, it happens. So, interesting. Let's just talk about the exchange very, very briefly as to why I believe this is a good one for having a token on it. This has a lot of coins, tokens to buy. They're obviously the popular ones. If we go to more markets, it has a lot of Asian currency related stuff as well because it is an Asian, you know, it's all Asian. Um, in terms of how it works, because it is an Asian company. Now, when you look at this, look at the coins, there's a lot. You could probably say there's probably just as much or maybe as many as um, Binance. So that's already good. You're not gonna go to an exchange that no one's heard of because why not? You just don't do it. You, you always gravitate to the more known exchange. These are quite known. When you look at certain things, now obviously you can trade in obviously BTC, which is a massive bonus. You can trade in Ethereum, which is also good, and also DAI, um, if you so wish to. But obviously these 3x, 5x, and all kinds of stuff, they're for margin. 
They also have futures. So there's a lot of futures related stuff as well. And obviously the contrast swaps, which is similar to obviously Bybit and BitMEX. So there's a lot here. Now, in terms of all this, they've also got their own index, their own data, token sort of stuff as well. So this is really powerful for people to get good data and be able to trade with good liquidity. Now, the biggest problem with all this is there's a lot going on in your head. You think, oh, well, what do we need to do? But think of the normal retail investor. Think of people that in a couple of years time will eventually figure out, oh my God, this cryptocurrency malak is pretty cool actually. I'm gonna buy some. Well, it goes back to that question where they're gonna go. They're gonna to go to the bigger exchanges to buy these. They're not gonna to go to the shit places or what the friends do, or let's go to rubbish ones. They're gonna to go to the more established ones, the likes of Binance, the likes of this. Now, what do you get with the token? Well, you get trading fee discounts if you buy into the token. You're gonna to have all kinds of other advantages as well. Um, they've obviously got a buyback scheme, which is really good, but you've also got all this kind of like element of why a token is there. You know, simple. You've obviously got nodes, trading markets. You've obviously got the voting. Hold it to, to vote. Discounting fees. All of this good stuff is brilliant. Obviously, there's elements that you, you probably won't be aware of as well, what they actually do. But for me, it all comes down to if you're holding it and you're using it for trading fees, the chances are it will go up in value. And look at Binance in terms of the growth of the Binance coin using the IEO market. You have to hold the coin to then buy into the IEOs. That's kind of important. It has its own ecosystem and this has its own ecosystem where if you buy it, you get fees. You've got the jump start, which is also very, very key. And obviously voting and obviously advantages in listing and stuff like that and probably getting early access to certain things. So it's probably worth your while buying these. However, let's look at some other coins other elements that I've kind of mentioned. Binance coin, currently worth $14.40. It's been a lot higher than this. We know that it's been around for a while, the Binance coin. And in the the boom, essentially, even not too long ago, we were, we were trading at roughly $25, $27, I, I give or take. Let me have a little look. $25, which is massively high compared to where we are now. And that was in a bearish market for the old coins, but bullish for Bitcoin. That was because the IEOs are going out. Binance gave an incentive for people to buy into the token. If you think even naturally, if there's an alt season and that op option's there for reduced trading fees, oh, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to actually hold this token to reduce fees, save a bit of money. But also I can get access to other perks and you know have a coin that I can hold on to as a company investment. Oh, hello, this could be quite good. So look at that from that point of view. And the volume and the circulating supply, it's, you know, there's a lot more tokens as it stands right now for Binance, which is kind of pivotal. But in terms of this moving forward as an exchange, as this exchange grows, as it does more things, as it gets more, you know, obvious in the market that okay we're going to go to here to buy some coins when everyone is bullish again on old coins that token overall should if the economic model is correct go up in price now let's look at another exchange qcoin qcoin i remember it quite well this was a great hold back in the alt season of 2017 mm, you can see why this fucking mooned just to be blunt this went all the way up to about $20, $20, give or take, it went up to, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it. Decent circulating supply, decent total supply. This is an exchange that is quite good, but has a lot of smaller coins on there, really easy to use. And this is kind of the rival to the exchange I've just mentioned. However, it's the same kettle of fish where if the alt season goes bang, what's gonna happen to the price? Well, we know what's gonna happen to the price it's gonna just gradually go up. And obviously this is you know, the data from that sort of year period, which is crazy. Year to day, you know, we're, we're fluctuating. If you go to all, if it loads, there we go. You can see here, this was the boom of Binance. This went up in price, this reacted to Binance. So if Binance are doing good things, if other exchanges are doing good things and they are holding and having coins that are doing well well you can imagine one thing 
exchanges are all going to react because people will buy other exchange coins. But the main element of this is if there is an alt season between 2020 and 2025, whatever, a big one, you can bet your bottom dollar that exchange tokens that offer a utility for exchanging fees and all kinds of other stuff like that, it will go up in price because people will hold it to save money. People also hold it as an opportunity to see if that company grows, the more users, the more users of the token, the more people buying and selling would increase the use case. So there you go. That is essentially today's video. Exchange tokens are a bit rough and ready, but at the same time, they should get covered well because they are a genuine use case in some ways. They're not, the, they're not life changing, but ultimately they're there to aid the person. If you can save 30% on fees because you're holding the token, well, why not? Just give it a go. What you, what you got to lose, essentially, if more and more people are using it, could well go up in price.